This is a presentation on seriation dating. Some basic information about seriation dating is that it is also known as sequence dating. It is a form of relative dating, which does not give a definitive age of an artifact, unlike absolute dating. It was most likely founded in the late 19th century by Egyptologist Sir William Flanders Petrie, who is shown to the left. He was trying to sequentially organize the changes in cemetery styles in Egypt, and he developed this form of dating to make his work easier. Seriation dating is used to study changes in artifacts over a time period. So how it works is that artifacts are separated and analyzed based on how they look, how often they occurred, where they occurred, and what their function is. In the beginning of an archaeological project, artifacts of a similar design and function may not have occurred very often. Then slowly, archaeologists will notice that these samples will start to occur more and more often as they go through the dig. And then as the dig is ending or finishing up, they'll notice that these artifacts will lose their prominence at the site. In addition, Artifacts that have their roots from the original shape and function will be analyzed to see what artifact it originates from and how it originates from it. Seriation dating allows archaeologists to develop a timeline of artifacts for the site and a popularity curve. And if it is graphed properly, it creates a quote unquote battleship curve. And to the right here, we have an example of results seen from seriation dating. So some benefits are it involves statistics and archaeological digs. It helps to analyze grave sites and how their styles have changed over time. But some drawbacks is that it does not go into depth when determining the history or popularity of these artifacts. And in addition, it needs some form of knowledge about the site to understand the dates of the artifacts and their importance. Here we have the information citations. And here we have the photo citations.